This is uh, part four of our tutorial for uploading a WordPress blog to your own server. We left off um, at the point where we were about to upload the files to our server. In this case, again, I'm using Dreamweaver. You may use an, a different FTP client, but it's, it, it applies the same way no matter what um, FTP uploading uh, resource that you're using. Okay. So here on the left is my live site, which is my server information. On my on my right is my are my local files, and here is the here are the files under the fold the blog folder, all the WordPress files that we need to upload. Okay, so we're just going to take the we don't need to do them individually. We can just op upload the whole folder. So we're just going to click and drag the file over to our live site and it'll take just a little bit to do that so I'm going to pause the video until it's done okay the files have finished uploading now don't panic if it takes a while for that to happen um, I paused the video it was um, between four and five minutes that it took I have a I have a broadband connection so it's fairly quick but depending on what connection speed you have, it may take you um, a bit longer than that. So just be patient because um, it is a lot of files to upload. You'll see even these, these folders here, if I open them, you can see how many files. There are tons of files that need to be uploaded. So just be patient with it and it'll let you know when it's done. Okay, so now here on the live the server, you'll see if I um, open the blog folder, you'll see all of our files have uploaded. All of the files in the in the folders are there as well. So the upload process is done. And now what we have to do is actually install the program um, through the the internet. So that's going to be the next step we do. So we're going to close this down. We're going to open up our browser again. Now we can get rid of this. And what we're going to do is type into your browser window the um, web address of your, or the URL of your domain. So in, in this case, let's say we'll put www.thepeoplemodel.com. Now, if you, if you uploaded your files directly to the domain name so that when people type in yourname.com, it goes directly to your blog, you would type this, your domain name forward slash, um, let me find it here, wp hyphen admin I'm losing my place, forward slash, where's my forward slash, wp admin forward slash install.php okay that that's what you would type in only if you installed the files directly to your root directory which is your name.com period okay now in my case I have it installed on a, in a separate folder so mine will be my domain name forward slash blog which is the name of the folder where I installed the files then the forward slash wp hyphen admin forward slash install dot php and that's in those instructions that five minute install instructions that I showed you in tutorial one if you copied and pasted that into a word document and printed it out you'll see that under step six it'll explain exactly what I just told you. okay now that we've got the the URL in our browser up here you'll see um, we just uh, click to go to that location and it takes us to the welcome screen to set up our blog. So now all we have to do is put in, say, a blog title. And this is something that you can change at any time. So um, right now we're going to just put, for this case, the people model. And I will put in um, the correct email address for this particular blog. And there's a little check mark here, allow my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. You definitely want to keep that checked. That's the, the, that way your, um, your blog will be able to come up in searches if people search some of the keywords that you're, you're using in some of your blog posts. So it's very, very important 
leave that checked. And then all we do now is click install WordPress. And now you have your, uh, it gives you your username and your password. I have um, blocked this out because I don't want everybody to see that. But um, then all you have to do is then log in and enter that username and password. It was very, very important that you write that password down because it's, it's unique to you. So then you enter your uh, username and password here and that gets into your um, the back office part of your WordPress blog. And then um, I'll do another tutorial video to show you um, how to post blogs and change some of your um, some of the um, things that are that are included in the default WordPress theme. We'll also do a tutorial on how to change the design of your WordPress blog by installing additional themes if you are not really um, crazy about the default theme that WordPress gives you. So that's it now for tutorial number four. Look for another tutorial um, like I mentioned for um, what to do once you're in the back back part of your uh, WordPress blog, your uh, control panels and that sort of thing, and also about um, installing new themes. Okay, that's it for me for this video. Um, take care. We'll look for you in the next one.